What's up guys? I made a video several months back about the basic drone laws and in that video I said that it's illegal to fly above sports stadiums. Well, that's not necessarily the case, so let's talk about it. Like I said in the intro, I made a video several months back about the basic drone laws and in that video I flat out said it's illegal to fly above sports stadiums. I thought when I made that video that I was flying above a baseball field and I was getting away with it because it's during the middle of COVID and everyone was basically stuck indoors. So I figured that was why I wasn't getting in trouble. When I was doing research for that drone laws video several months back, I misinterpreted the fact that you cannot fly above large crowds of people with not being able to fly above sports stadiums in general. That's simply not the case. You can fly above stadiums and arenas, but there are some exceptions. Let's talk about those later, but first, let's go get some cool drone shots. All right, let's go. All right, first up, we're heading to Sutter Health Field, formerly known as Rayleigh Field. It's where the Sacramento River Cats play. Uh, they're the minor league baseball team, AAA affiliate to the San Francisco Giants. It's in West Sacramento, so not a lot of buildings or uh, too many people to worry about, just simply getting the shot above the ballpark. So this should be a good place to start. Next up, let's swing by the Golden One Center. This is where the Sacramento Kings play NBA basketball. This will be much more tricky because we're in the middle of downtown now and I have to worry about security. I need to post up in a parking lot somewhere so I could fly my drone. And I often get kicked out by security. Furthermore, there's a lot of tall buildings and you sometimes even have to worry about homeless people because they tend to like drones and anything out of the ordinary. So. Yeah, downtown atmosphere is just a lot more tricky to fly drones. And probably the main thing is you want to stay below 400 feet because you never know when a helicopter may be in the area. I think we got some cool shots representing sports stadiums and arenas here in Sacramento. Let's go back home now and we'll talk about the key to flying above ballparks and stadiums. All right, we are back. That is actually my first time ever driving and filming at the same time. Bear with me if the autofocus is off a little. I think the steering wheel was making the focus go on and off of my face. We'll fix that in the future. But we do know that it is legal to fly above stadiums and sports arenas, but let's talk about the specifics. As always, follow the basic drone laws to start. I made a video about these in the past. I'll link it at the end. As much as I would love to bring my drone to one or 2,000 feet above the stadium to get a really cool shot, the maximum altitude you can fly is still 400 feet. Between the DJI app and airmap.com, it's easy to tell if you're in restricted airspace or not. I start with the DJI app. If I see no restrictions on there, I then go to airmap.com. I register myself on their app and get automatic FAA authorization. This is an easy way to cover myself in case anyone questions me on whether I'm allowed to fly or not. As a third precaution, I also like to go on the website of whatever stadium or sport arena I may be flying over to make sure they don't have any other additional rules. For example, I was about ready to fly above the soccer stadium where the Sac Republic FC soccer team plays. I went on their website, they're within Cal Expo. Cal Expo has their own air rights, so I was not able to fly above it. Once you believe that you're clear to fly and you see no restrictions around the stadium or arena that you want to fly above, the only other rule from the FAA is that you cannot fly one hour before or one hour after any sporting event and within three nautical miles of the sporting venue. Basically, if people are going to be within the venue that you want to fly above, you can't fly one hour before or one hour after. Once you check all these boxes, feel free to get some dope aerial shots and videos above your favorite sports, stadiums, and arenas. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. New videos weekly. Guys living on the grid lifestyle, photography, and filmmaking tips in general. I'll see you next week. I'm out. Thank you.